What's up guys, this is Winemix1 and the question I got was do you need a major or a degree to become a UX researcher? The simple answer is no, but there are some caveats to that, so let me just explain. The process of getting a UX research job doesn't require a degree or major, but it is helpful. Now, don't have to stress too much about it, don't worry too much. If you don't have a degree, you have no degree, you don't even have a diploma or any certificates, you can still get a job as a UX researcher. Because, as I keep saying, you need to know how to do the job. You need to know the process, you need to know how to deliver. If you can deliver, you will get hired. And as there's a shortage, you're not gonna have a problem getting a job if you know how UX research works and how to create those reports that will deliver to stakeholders all the answers, the feedback that they need from the users. Now, where does a major or a degree or certification of any sort help? A degree from university in psychology, marketing, branding, anything to do with people, sociology, that is a nice to have. So it's quite impressive to a recruiter, but it doesn't mean you'll definitely get the job, but it does help. Just like any little thing that can help you to get your job. Now, if you don't have one, I wouldn't have sleepless nights over it. I wouldn't worry too much. What I would do is look at your skill set. So it doesn't have to be degree or major because what you could have, which is really valuable, is experience. Experience is actually more valuable than qualifications. So if you've got any people skills related jobs, and all of us have, even if you worked in a retail store, you're still engaged with people and you helped customers, so customer service, marketing, writing reports, all of that is helpful in UX research. So what I would not advise is if you don't have a major or a degree, don't start one now. Because in the three, four, five years you're gonna to take to study a degree, you could have been well away into your career really delivering in UX research and making a good career and earning from it. So don't waste your time if you don't have one. If you have one, great, it's, it's a nice to have, it's beneficial. Don't stress too much about it because what you can do in your time, rather than worry about what piece of paper you have, worry about what experience you have. So build your experience. So volunteer, work in a job, offer your services for free or for low pay or an internship or apprenticeship. Get more exposure to the industry, get more exposure to the process of discovering problems, recruiting those participants, creating the scripts, the interview scripts, interviewing people, build a confidence in questioning them. Which reminds me, don't forget to download the UX research guide, which is free, and also the courses which are coming free, which will be on 1x1.com. In terms of UX research itself, what you can do and what would be really helpful is to gather all your skill sets and knowledge on a piece of paper or a Word document and put them in line with the job. So for example, where have you ever done any sort of discovery of a gap analysis, knowledge analysis in a company? So for example, let's say you worked in a company where they had a problem. So they were not able to, let's say, get customers through the door or people onto the website. You did an, what we call an analysis, a gap analysis. So you looked at why are people not using our website? Why are customers not coming through the door? That's a gap analysis. That's exactly what you do in the UX research. You look at the analysis of what research are we not doing right now? What are we not capturing? So what problems are we not capturing at the moment? And you want to start asking those questions. So you may join a company and they've never done research on let's say the footer, the bottom of the website. They've never asked anyone about that. That's a gap analysis. So you've analyzed that. We need to do research on the header and the footer because these are the two things people always look at. You go to the bottom of the page and you have a, a footer. Nobody has ever thought about that. So it'd be things like that with your transferable skill sets that you want to talk about. Other things you might have done. So you, discovery, you may have done things where you did surveys, you did get feedback from people. In any industry, it's fine. That's the knowledge base that you need. So don't worry too much about degrees. Worry more about what level, what degree you are compatible with that job. So you should be compatible with the job rather than looking for 
endorsements from an organization. So what's really important here is that you're able to sell yourself, sell your experience and your skill set. That's what's important. Don't forget guys to follow this, this channel and subscribe, like and follow and I'll see you on the next one, 1UX1. One